Josh, thank you so much for coming out to talk with us about uh, the design inspiration with the CT4V Blackwing and the CT5V Blackwing cars. I hear that they take a lot of inspiration from the race cars. As we started the project, one of the important things was that we really took from the race teams and took all that learning, all that heritage we've had from racing in the past and incorporated into the cars. And we struck that fine balance of making sure it always added to the performance of the car, but it really stood out in the design and really stood for what V-Series means. It was so interesting to see what somebody could essentially drive to the office, to the grocery store. It's like this usable daily driver car on the racetrack winning and uh, it just looks right. That's kind of one of the things I really like about these cars. They're relatable and they're for the everyday enthusiast. I mean, you can go from the very uh, daily driver package when you set up uh, from your you know, your front splitter to your spoiler configuration to your full track blown car with all the carbon elements uh, from front to rear of the vehicle. And that's really based on what the driver wants to do with this vehicle. That's a really interesting point though you brought up in terms of like the carbon and uh, really nice materials that you used for some of the trim. That's something that's traditionally reserved for the tuners, you know, the aftermarket. It's like, hey, this car is cool, but let's add these little accents to make it just that much more special. Plus, it's lightweight and it's really stiff. That's the attention of detail that, you know, as a V-Series vehicle, it demands that. And it's that attention to detail that we try to sprinkle throughout the car and making sure that everything, again, served its purpose, uh, but was beautiful and striking. You guys did hide a lot of things that tell the customer or tell enthusiasts that this is special. One of the great things that we enjoy as designers is hiding all these little Easter eggs around the car. I don't want to give them all away because they're Easter eggs. It's kind of uh, a surprise thing for the customer to go and discover. But you know, the rear differential has got a little V-Series logo on it. You go into the underbody, we have this thing called the racing Mondrian pattern and we kind of sprinkle that throughout the underbody, through the midbody panels and the underwing. In the engine bay, you'll see the racing pattern as well. John, thank you so much for coming out to talk to us about the interior. Can you tell us a little bit about the design philosophy behind them? Mm -hmm. We really want to take kind of our you know, history with racing and really want to inspire the, that to be the inspiration for the interior. Um, you see that in the, the different materials, uh, the way that they're layered, and a lot of precision, especially in the quilted pattern, and I love the piping. And it's really race inspired. So you see a lot of carbon fiber, you see the suede microfiber, and you see the high quality leather in the interiors, uh, whether that's in the shifter, the steering wheel, and also the seats themselves. The first thing that I noticed when I actually got in the car was the shifter and shift knob. You know, first of all, it's manual transmission. Save the manuals, not many of them left. This one is special. I noticed right away it's 3D printed. Tell me why is it 3D printed? We really want to take this as an opportunity um, to celebrate that. Um, and as you can see in the, in the center console, we really open up that space so that when you are shifting through gears, you have that space. The icing on the cake is that 3D printed. And we want to take that as an opportunity to really show the new technology and manufacturing. And there's these little details of the Mulgeon pattern that you're seeing in there as well. So again, it's a celebration. The heads up display is awesome. It feels like you're flying like a fighter jet. Right when you start it, everything is special about catering to give the driver information. Just things like that kind of really take it over the top. Yeah, and you know, with the 12 inch reconfigurable cluster, we again, we want to give that, um, you know, that experience to our customers. When you do hit the V mode, you've got your three settings or three experiences, if you will, track, sport, and touring. And again, when you have the HUD, minimalizing everything too as well. You know, having your RPMs, having your shift um, lights, and just, again, getting that experience from the track into the customer um, experience as well.